Hello, my name is Gary Shotton, and I'm a, a critical part of this movement we hope to be uh, called Inspiring Better Business. We have websites with video and audio and then text. We hope this helps you. Today I'm going to talk about the subject called a little extra. What do I mean by that? Well, we all have different philosophies in life and uh, we can have a philosophy uh, that differs from other people. A lot of it comes from our upbringing and sometimes our friends and sometimes our family, but you know it's up to us as adults to create our philosophy on how we approach work, how we approach business, how we approach uh, things that are related to finances. And uh, you know, I, I just have to believe that there's a philosophy that if you per consistently think about giving just a little bit extra, a little more than was expected, then both in life and in business, you will go farther than you ever thought you would with that. If you have the philosophy of just the very bare minimum or just only getting by the, the least I need to do to, to get done, then that sets you on a different course of life that I don't think is quite as beneficial in the long run. Now, let me give you some examples here. So, uh, when I was uh, owning a moving and storage company, you know, we uh, had uh, sold boxes. We sold uh, lots of boxes. It's when somebody's going to move, they have to pack up, or we would pack up their uh, goods and, and these boxes, because you can't move glassware like a piece at a time. You've got to put it in a box. And we sold boxes. It, it was a big revenue item. But there's nothing wrong on a large order just to flop down a couple rolls of tape and say, hey, I'm just throwing these as extra. Thanks for being my customer. We did that on occasion. We did that. We didn't worry about every little thing that was very minor. It wasn't a big expense to us. When we have um, here at this, uh, uh, at this machine shop, you know, we always try to look to do a little extra. Uh, sometimes it's not quite as easily uh, connected as when we're dealing on a uh, customer or a business to a consumer like we're dealing with the actual end user like in my moving and storage business. But here in this machine shop, we do extra things all the time. We don't try to charge for every little thing that needs to be done. Uh, we've absorbed other expenses like when, when somebody comes in for uh, just a minor little repair on something that's one of our regular customers. Hey, we just say, hey, let's just fix that up, no charge. It's more. It's not worth the paperwork. It's not worth the invoicing. It's just like we're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars on a typical order. What does fifty dollars make? I have a I have a pretty well understood here that if it's under a couple hundred dollars, all of my people can throw it in free or no charge or discount. You know, it's just not going to make a difference in the finances, and it's going to go a long ways in goodwill. I'll talk about a restaurant. So I go out to eat, I go to pay my bill. You know, some restaurants give you a little mint. They give it a little of it. It's good stuff. It's not like terrible, day old or old, hard, dried. It's some little flavor thing when you walk out the door. It's a mint. It's a packaged individual thing that's extra. You didn't pay for that. Well, you did one way or another because it's inside all of the expenses, but it wasn't itemized. They didn't have to do that. I have waiters that when I'm uh, ordering something and, and uh, uh, it's ready to leave and they knew that I had either an iced tea or Coke, they always come up and say, hey, would you like one to go? Oh, I, I would like one to go. In other words, I had an iced tea, is what I normally drink, and when I'm done, I'm ready to leave. They give me a carryout cup if, and they suggest them or even bring it to me, hey, here's one to go. Wow, that's probably could be pretty good business for the company and also for their tip. That's a little bit extra. Now, uh, if you're on the employee realm, I always like to tell my family when they were working and, and my friends that are younger starting to work, I said, you know, don't just look at the clock and demand every single step every single second, every single thing that you get paid for. Of course, you're getting paid by the hour. And there's nothing wrong with, though, for sure, showing up 15 minutes early and staying 15 minutes re late, not every day, but regularly, that would be good. 10 minutes, five minutes, you know, it gives you a little cushion that if there's a, a blockage in the road and, and, and somebody has a flat tire and, 
and you couldn't ha get there and get help somebody get it fixed or fix your own tire, then you have a chance to fix that and still to get to work on time. So that's one reason to be a little early. But the other is a habit of giving a little extra. Giving a little extra. There's another one. I'm a business owner, so I have I have uh, uh, people that uh, do services for me, and uh, they uh, present an invoice. And I can get an invoice that's just like one line. It says contracting services, or plumbing services, or construction services. And then it's like $2,000. Okay, that really wasn't enough information for me to feel comfortable. I actually trust that person, but they ought to give me a little extra information. I have one person that is a regular, and he itemizes down more than maybe necessary. It helps him also. It's to do with our computers. And he gives a detailed list down to the 15 minutes, every 15 minutes. Uh, uh, three hours and, and 15 minutes on this day, doing this. Four hours and 10 minutes on, or 15 minutes on this day, doing something else. Two hours doing something else. He actually just charges us 15 minutes sometimes to check our backups. That's a blessing to me. But I see that on the invoice. I said, man, it isn't that I didn't trust him before, but he gave me way more extra information that I could then feel comfortable about this. You know, other people look at the invoices and they're thinking, man, to do that carpentry work, why did it cost $2,000? Well, it's not itemized. It's not telling me the things in general. By the way, if you're presenting an invoice and you want it to be accepted through big corporations, you really want to elaborate on that. Kind of not fluff it, don't lie, I'm not telling that, but really point out all the things you did in that inside that invoice in a very concise but thorough way. It'll go a long ways. Give a little extra. Now, uh, uh, the, the last, and maybe not, there's hundreds more examples, is though uh, somebody that's even going to school. You know, if you go to school as a youngster or you have a child that's in school or a relative or a friend, you know, you ought to encourage them to give a little extra. In other words, if there's an assignment to do, you know, a certain number of jobs and, yeah, maybe uh, questions on a test or mathematical part, uh, problems in a math problem or maybe writing a, a small paragraph, you know, well, I would just encourage that youngster right up front, say, hey, go ahead and do what's assigned and just get in a habit of doing just a little extra. Say, hey, uh, we were assigned uh, to pick 10 of these problems uh, out of 15, but I picked a couple others just to make sure I understood this, and I did them as extra. Oh, my goodness, nobody does that. That's right. Nobody does that. You're going to stand out. You're going to be the one that they said, man, they're, they're, on, they're somebody I can get behind because they already, as a youngster, as a young person, has the attitude of giving a little extra, a little extra, a little extra. Don't give away the farm. I'm not saying uh, create a scenario that's going to financially hurt you or devastate you. Just a little extra, an extra smile, an extra handshake, a little extra. That's what you want. Hope this helps. It is in life and business. They're, they go together. Thanks for being a part of Inspiring Better Business.